the challenge. I mean, I worked for commercial television, uh, for CNN, for EM NBC, for local stations, for network operations. Uh, and even those operations, the producers there, the writers and reporters there, uh, tend to come from very similar backgrounds, relatively privileged middle class backgrounds. I came from a relatively, relatively privileged middle class background. Uh, and they see very uh, little of the rest of the world. News isn't even really what it was when I was, uh, when I was working at CNN in uh, you know, the, the late 1990s. Uh, news is, uh, unfortunately, more and more about just sort of commenting on the passing parade and reading news releases as they come out. It's, it's, it's hardly uh, trying to put the pieces together of what's going on and why. It's often speculation about what might happen, about who might win a battle, uh, but it's really not so much about how this came to be, uh, what are the deeper meanings of what's going on here. What that means is that we have a set of stories that are told about uh, what is normal and what is acceptable opinion. Uh, I mean, and these stories are very subtle, and so uh, you know, one wouldn't suggest, for example, that a story about uh, the Pope dying uh, ought to really consider his, uh, uh, his concern about um, the poor. Uh, around the world, uh, about uh, the need to do whatever you can possibly do to avoid uh, uh, violence and physical conflict in war, uh, of his really strong opposition to uh, the war in Iraq. Uh, instead, we get very nice stories about you know what a nice man he was, about how charismatic he was. Uh, well, investigative reporting budgets have been cut dramatically. Uh, investigative reporters, which are very expensive uh, operations to run, because by and large those reporters don't come up with stories for, you know, maybe sometimes weeks at a time. Uh, by, uh, news operations now, uh, which are under more and more pressure to raise money and to contribute to uh, the profits that. Uh, particularly the local news operations are making, and there's substantial profits in many of these local stations, uh, particularly in big cities. Um, these, uh, these operations can't afford to have people not contributing daily to the newscast, particularly as the hours of the newscast uh, expand. And so you end up with essentially uh, very little budget for investigative reporting. Uh, and, uh, and very little investigative reporting being done. And, uh, and again, uh, even beyond the luxury of investigative reporting, you end up with reporters who have to put out much more product on a daily basis, um, who frankly have to do a much better job of getting along with places like the White House or uh, the Speaker's uh, office on the Hill, uh, or other offices if they're going to be able to get exclusives or other stories that are very valued. And so you don't find those reporters going very far astray from the press releases that are put out. Um, the news business has changed dramatically in uh, just 10 years. And what I hope independent television can provide really is a look into the diversity that is America. Um, I don't think there's really anything more important in a democracy than that. Too many Americans, too many Americans who have useful, important contributions to make to the public debate, have the habit of thinking that they don't have a real contribution to make. And one of the things that I hope this channel will do is really aggressively go out and find ways to get those Americans who are silent um, to participate, to be heard, to speak up. I mean, I, again, I, I, I think. I think the importance of independent world television is really embodied in many ways in, uh, in its name. The idea that you can have television, which is such a dominant and powerful and useful teaching tool, if used independently, 
can bring not only uh, people from around the world into our living rooms, but can really allow us to participate in a global conversation. Um, I think there's a way to view television not as this passive screen in front of us, but as an interactive tool that allows us to not only reach out, but to be reached by other people around the world. And, uh, and it's very much needed right now.